New York and on the new Hot 97 app, Ebro in the Morning. On Hot 97. It's Ebro yeah. in the Morning, Lord Styles, Rosenberg, our friend Wale is back on the program. It's DC. He may not house. talk on the microphone. We now. don't know where this interview is going. Hi, Wale. How are you, man? <laughs> Yo, he's actually pretty chipper today, too. He's got a new album yeah. out. What's the name of the album? Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. You haven't seen the promos, the um, therapy promos? I have. I like the therapy. I, Me I too. Don't think you I like them. I think you're too busy to... No, don't, no, don't, oh, no, don't no, try no. to get oh, it no, now. No. Don't get receipts. No. Don't get receipts. I mean, I didn't post it or anything on my well, Instagram. Are you, have you seen it's it or are you lying? It's not revolutionary black enough for you. <laughs> 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 Wallace, yeah. paying attention. Mm. Yo, so you're on my IG. You like, I, you like nah, my nah, post. Nah, I, I, Yo, you man, know, start liking my post, man. Nah, because you don't... You know what I'm saying? Nah. I'm trying to spread the... I'm trying... I'm, I get the knowledge from your, your page. I appreciate though. you, man. But I actually hit Ebro up for... Like, I ask him about stuff all the time. Though. We talk, though. Black Panthers and all of that, because the Bay Area. I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated with that. And I don't want to lose the recipes. Like, I don't... Like, I feel like... like you know, the, the the black revolutionists and black revolutionaries and the Panthers and all the Stokely Carmichael and all of those, like, they're, it's starting to be like, uh, there's so much noise going on that we starting to forget, like, the, how important that was. And we're bound well, I to think repeat. the other piece is, is that's really important is that we don't forget how young they were. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, they wasn't eating Tide Pods. They was trying to, like, you know, get get it cracking. <laughs> and they were trying Change to get it cracking world. and get some yeah. equality. You know what I'm saying? Shelby Carmichael was not eating Tide Pods. Like, <laughs> no, he wasn't pods. doing a challenge. No he challenge. He wasn't doing any challenge. It was no hashtag. He was on some, uh, if a pig touch you challenge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If a yeah. pig touch you, yeah. we making bacon challenge. I wish, a, I wish a wood challenge. Yeah, yeah. I want I want, him, I want the smoke challenge. Now, uh, <laughs> your, your, the music I've heard from the project so far, mm -hmm. wow, that's crazy, mm -hmm. uh, available on Apple Music coming up. Um, very musical. I mm -hmm. love that the musicality's there. Right. Um, Black Girl Magic's incredible. Yes. Um, the one was it love and loyalty that you dropped? Well, I love that. Wells, you got Wells. a number one record where you sampled uh, our brother Raphael yes, Sadiq, sir. which is yes, incredible. Sir. Good man, right there. Um, and I'm hearing there is a Meek Ross. Ha! You broke the news. Yeah, we didn't put it on the track list because it's like, all right, come, come, come on this, come on this ride with us. Wait, then... so I wasn't supposed to say nothing. No, nah, like... <laughs> shoot, we, 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 we like. We, we got, we, hours it's away. almost go time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you oh, know that okay. thing drop around like eleven fifteen or something. Right, right, right. But um, man, yeah, we got we got we 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 the three headed MMG monster. back. The three headed monsters back. What's the record sound like? That I have not heard. It Give us like, a little like it, what was the. It, it, it sounds like a Meek record. <laughs> it sounds like a Meek record. Like he 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 did he had the direction for it. Um, uh, I think I think he might have sent it to me like a little. Like, he might have been still locked up when he sent me the record. So you've had it for a minute. Yeah, I had it for a while. Yeah. And so this is uh, Meek saying, "I want us to do this song together." It was Meek saying, "Let's work." You know what I'm saying? Right. But the thing is, I got I got like 17 records with Ross and like maybe like 10 with Meek. So it was just a matter of which one I wanted to put on the album for real. And why this one? Why this particular one? Um, it got the energy, you know, because there's a lot of mid tempo and a lot of like deep songs on the album, and I just wanted to break that like you know the monotony of that. Well, I, I get a lot of joy from the your relationship with Meek and Ross. Like, it feels like a real... Can I get some water here, please? You know, this, I don't know. Is that not is, even your water? This is used water. I don't know. If get black, rid of that. Black Throw it. Make it, it wow. makes me sick. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> wow. Used water? Wow, they just left all type of trash <laughs> in That's what y'all trying to say about me. Wow. That's crazy. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. That's a no, gift from Cash. Disrespect. Yeah. But I, I do get I do get a lot of joy from that relationship. It feels like you guys have really become like family over the years. Man, we argue, we laugh, we be bidding on other people. We really we like a we embody what a family is. But you have that Wu Tang thing of like you can have moments where you aren't great, but it always comes back together. Yeah, I, Ross cussed me out a couple times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he called me. I was like. Yeah, you. You know what I'm saying? Like we 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 go there, and me and me we buy ass too. But it's never like it's never on that level as I was. We was both lunched out back at that point in our lives. Like we had a lot going on. Were you happy that things got back to where they you are now? You always want to be like this is this is a real family. Like it don't it ain't even on no shit, stuff like you know we just link up when it's like time for albums or all. And like we really be pulling up on each other on some like you know what I'm saying? When Meek came home. I was like the first one at the hotel, and we having push up contests. He's like, man, I could do more push ups than you, man. I've been locked up. I've been, I've been working on. We laugh like that. It's more so like that than like, yo, can I get this verse? Can I da 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 da? I, I, honestly, there's honestly to like time periods where I forget that the man make music. 
we just on some homie stuff. That's great. I love I, I love that. I love that. Now, um, on this album, other features that you could put us on to. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Um, um, yeah, we got Black, Six Lack. <laughs> uh, Six. We got Bryson. Um, um, one of the 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 um only rap features on there is is a newer artist that I really really enjoy is Boogie. Boogie's from, dope. He's crazy, bro. He's Boogie's really dope. talented, and he got so much charisma too. You know what I'm saying? He's well like. He get he he's the type of dude that gets my humor when I'm when we kick it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And Ari too. Ari, Ari might be one of the funniest people. She's intentionally and unintentionally funny Ari at Lennox. all times. Yes. Yes. She is so funny. Like she's just like, oh my gosh, Wale, thank you. And I'm like, are you are you trolling? Yes. Like she does. She you know what I'm talking yes, about? She, she does is. it. Like she's like, oh my gosh, how did I get here? Am oh. I talented? But that song is called Cliche, and um, it's basically like um. I don't want to reveal too much because I, I I genuinely want people to tune in tonight when it come out. But I'm really just putting myself out there on this album. Well, now you um I feel like have leaned into how great of uh your musicality is. Oh, like, I'm tight. I, I think I'm, I th I'm tight as can I cuss? Yeah. yeah, I'm tight as fuck. Facts. Really? But I think you, like, I feel like, you know, people never knew that that was really you. Like, they knew you was writing, they knew you was the rapper, but the musical right. parts, the mm -hmm. things you pull together and the people you pull together, I yeah. think now you've leaned in to showcase that. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's part of maturing and being in the, and being in the game for a while and just, like, you know, just, I morphed into my next phase of, like, artistry, I guess you could say. Now, um, where do you rank on people's top 50 lists? I don't care about no I'm on every list that matters the real list I don't care what the, you say you say I'm on all them lists I think I made your list at some kind of way yeah but some kind of way I'm, I, I don't I, bruh do the on. list frustrate you no not me not now dog this is my 10th year like I got 20 projects I'm on my 6th album right. I got multiple number ones how many I was gonna say how many number ones is that too a, a, a lot <laughs> I don't even know, I'm, bruh. If I'm not on your list, you forgot, or you're stupid. One yeah, or the other. It right. don't matter. Oh, your taste is your taste is invalid. I, don't I appreciate care. you saying you forgot because that is definitely that is possible. Definitely what happened. Because, the other day, <laughs> because the other day, I was like, um, <laughs> uh, I was like, um, yeah, um, they was like, who the the top five from your era? And I was like, Crit, Sean, Cole, and um, uh, uh, somebody else. And I forgot Drake. And it's like you, you, you almost forget because it's like. Drake is like LeBron. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they say who's the best five players in the NBA, you probably trying to come up with the people that, like, you don't... The, the, the obvious ones yeah, feel you, like it's, it's like too easy. The brain works like that. And yeah, like, man. you hating on Drake? I'm like, bro, I forget. The man got 270 million or number one hot 100. Ain't nobody... Drake can sneeze like this, and it's going to go auto-tune, yeah. and it's going to go number one. Because the man got it locked like that. It, yeah. He's a trusted brand. I wasn't thinking like that. But... Sometimes people forget about little. I'm Wale glad you appreciate fine. that. It's cool. You, you, you might really come a long way, man. But I don't, cause I don't, I don't, I care, but I don't really. It, it's not so much invested in it no more. Right. I got a sold out show, man. We did four thousand people in Charlottesville, Virginia the other day. Like that's good for me. I, I my hometown. There's people crying in the crowd. Like I've seen it. If y'all forget, that's on y'all. I know what I wake up to every day. Well, and you also have given a lot in your music over the years too, right? Your story, your your daughter, yeah. your, you know where you come from, mm -hmm. DC. You've given a lot. You said in this album, you you said you laying it all out there, and yeah. you you don't really want to go into specifics, but because I'm sure I like fatherhood to, like, has like something to, be, to do like, with it. I like to be. I like it to be in the like you know if 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 you if you interview on top. Was it Todd Phillips, the Joker? Mm -hmm. He ain't gonna tell you everything that happened in the movie. He might give you some things That's that right. make you go see the movie. And you I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, I don't but spoil I would it. guess from the um, promo that you're doing with it being in a psychiatrist's office, yeah. it's, it's 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 really getting in the head. A little bit, and 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 I, I want to say this too because it is Mental Health Like Awareness Day, right? I I I'm I really got a di I like have a I loathe the term mental mental health be just because it's become something that like people latch on to. To, it's a buzzword, wow. and the album touches on those issues, but I package it differently because I feel like there's a lot of people that struggle with certain things. They don't like hearing it like mental health. There's a connotation with that that's like crazy. You know yep. what I'm saying? Like, well, I think that's the the struggle, right? Like yeah. I think the world is trying to change the connotation to make it not something that 
people view your way. Right. Where it's kind of like, look, everybody is dealing with some sort of mental health issue in some regard. Every it's draining. You wake up as a black man or a black woman or anybody of color. I'm sorry, Rosenberg. Sorry. If you wake up as somebody, as, as anybody of well, color. he's Jewish, in, so they in, get it another and this, No, they, they, they tried to help us a lot, but you yeah. know, that's another story. But like, you wake up and as not a white man, you already have a, a lot to deal with every day. You're not paid as much. You might be harassed. You can't go to CVS without them thinking you're trying to steal some well, Axe body spray or whatever. Like they, they, they just messing with us at, 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 on every level. Then the, the 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 free world is is ran by somebody with the intelligence of an apple. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we 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 we, we let the country be run by somebody who has multiple uh, business failures, multiple tax evasion issues, a pathologi pathological, pathological liar, probably a whole lot of other stuff that's getting buried under. And we let it, you know what I'm saying? We got cops killing black folks left and right, getting all scot-free, you know what I'm saying? Like, they killing people that's been testifying against white folks and all that. Like, you already, that, that stuff is triggering, bro. Mm -hmm. And what's the first thing we do? 20 years ago, the first thing that we would probably do Watch TV, you know, have a cup of coffee. Maybe the older folks will read a newspaper. The first thing we all do, bomb. Yep. Social media, because this is our newspaper now. Mm -hmm. And it's faster, and it talks to us, and we can see it in real time. Kids is looking at it, too. So what happens when an 11-year-old a, a sees another black man being shot or a 15-year-old sees another black man getting shot? You know what I'm saying? Like, all these things have made us wired differently. I'm wired differently than I was a year, like, uh, years ago. Because of what I went through in this industry. What do you think it's doing to these young kids? It's so, like that's what I wanted to ask you. So one thing I find frustrating, I'm, I'm curious how you feel about it, because you and I privately and publicly have talked about your your uh, well-being, is that, number one, you have the term mental health, which, A, can be labeling and make you feel like people are saying you're sick or crazy. Yeah. And then on the flip side of that coin, you have a lot of people out there who really grab on to mental health and throw around the word anxiety mm, to be yeah. like, I want to be a part of this conversation. I don't like it. I don't when, I, like it. when I tell you my... We've been through situations, I've been with you, where I've seen how ang ang real anxiety affects somebody. Not you're nervous because you have a show. I'm talking yeah, about anxiety, yeah, yeah. and people use it as a tool and a crutch and it's and, and to, to get people in a conversation, but it's bullshit because people really deal with it. Sometimes you're not anxious. You're just a little nervous or you're just a little put off. I'm talking about, like, when I'm on, when I'm in certain places, I can't stop moving my leg, my, my palms are sweaty, my heart beating fast, I can't concentrate, I can't focus, I got to smoke to think, I got to talk slower. Like, it's real things that I go through because of whatever, like, how I was designed or what I've been through, like, and that's why it's like, I don't like talking about it. It's like mental health. Like, it's packaged. It's all in there. It's all in there, but it's not, like, over your head. Like, it's not so overt, and it's just very subtle because it's like anybody who deal with it, I want you to find what relates to you in this way without feeling like you were like a, 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 a zoo animal or something. So, so are you put off by, because there's been several hip-hop albums that have come out in the last couple years that have positioned, you know, uh, bipolar or mental health as the, like, marketing yeah, of the album. Yeah, and that's why I just, I just was like, you know what, I'm not doing this. And it, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, those people were like, yo, you should do like, blah, blah, blah. No, nah, man, bro, I'm, I'm just, this is what I'm doing. This is how it's gonna come off. Like, mm -hmm. I talk about what's real to me. Whether I'm doing a song about, um, uh, like there's a song on the album where I'm talking to a, a, a gun. I'm talking to a gun and I'm talking to Nina Simone at the same time, back and forth. You know, that's how I felt that day. Mm -hmm. You know, or I do a song like BGM, just celebrating uh, a, a black woman and talking about like the pay grade and all of these things. How about I feel? And there's a song where I'm talking about what I've dealt with in my career, in my love life, in my dating life. I, it, it's all there. But... I'm, I'm mentioning these these small things along the way that if you going through certain things, you you relate to it. You know what I'm saying? Was uh, how challenging was the passing of Mac Miller? I know you guys were homies. Oh man, I was uh, I was in my crib and um, I was recording something and Cole Cole J Cole called me called me and for whatever reason I just I didn't hear him clearly. So I heard him say something like, yeah. What I heard was, 
uh, Mac Miller's dad. That's what I heard for whatever reason. Maybe the music was loud, and I just, you know, I stepped outside. And then in my mind, I'm like, damn, that's, that's, that's you know, I should, I should call Mac. And and Cole was like, I don't think you heard what I said. So I turned the music down, and he told me, and I just hung up. I just, just hung up on him, and I just sat there, like, because I literally remember, like, me and John Geiger, we were supposed to go to his house, like, two days before. And I got, like, I got, like, I was just being like lazy, high, whatever in the studio, and I just went home to sleep. And it's like, I mean, you know, we always get that guilt when our friends pass away. Like, I could have done more in this and third. But it's just like, I could feel that he wasn't in the, because it take one to know one. I've been in the, I've been in my darkest days, and I, I could feel it, because he had a show in DC, and some of the texts that he sent me, I was like, oh man, like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't all the way where, you know what I'm saying? And like I, again, if you've been in these places and you've had these vices, you know when somebody's in that world. Dang. And I, I I knew I wanted to talk to him, but there's a certain way you talk to people that are going through it. Because when I've when I'm when I'm when I've been in that place, don't just don't tell me what like don't what I'm supposed to be doing don't preach do to that. me and don't all do that. Because that's yeah. gonna make me shut down. And I and I felt like I I I I, I could have probably known how to talk to him in a way that didn't make it look like I was attacking him. But I was just like, no, I'm just going to see him, like, whatever. So I remember that day I just kept, like, beating myself up about it. Like, I remember talking to Karen Silva, and I was like, I just couldn't stop crying. It just, it was a lot. And, I mean, it's bittersweet because one of my last text messages to him is when his, when his album came out, and I was like, yo, he he dropped with somebody else, a, a big artist at huge. the time. Huge. Someone else huge was the yeah, same day. Yeah, same day. And I remember... I text him. I was like, "Bro, um, I hope you, I hope you, I hope you, I hope you seeing all this love out here, because he's a guy that was in his head like I be in my head. And sometimes you got to hear like, bro, I hope you can see this out here because we, we're in our own physical place. You can't see it sometimes. Mm -hmm. You could be the biggest rapper, basketball player in the world, and still be like, yo, like, am I, am I winning? Is this, am I being successful?" And I, I wanted them to know, like, bro, they loving you out here, bro. Like, you really getting this love on your day or your album and stuff like that. You, you guys were like the same generation, too. Y'all are all yeah, generally all, the same we all came in, class. I, I remember us coming up and we having college shows together and all that. In what ways, because I know, you know, a lot of people don't view loss of life as something that ultimately can help you um, see the world better see your own life better, that you can learn from it. But I know I've had some conversations this year with people with the loss of Mac and the loss of Nipsey Hussle. Um, and it was Astro World that came out the same day. It was Astro World. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, have you been able to reconcile and, and really uh, talk to anyone and talk through some of these, you know, because these are obviously your contemporaries and people that we love. Have you been able to, has it been able to help you in some way? Uh, I mean, we all deal with it differently. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, even the Nipsey joint, like, I'm legit, like, so paranoid now. Like, I'm, I'll be walking, I'll be, like, somewhere in Queens or something and just walking, and I'm always, like, it, 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 it I don't think we ever really truly, like, heal, like, on, on that type of stuff. No, I don't. At least I don't. I don't truly. I just got to, you know, push through it. It was a lot, and I think about it every day, both of them, every single day. It's been a bad year, but it's been a, the last few years we've lost a lot of greats. But the, them two for this generation are two. They're both so important. Very what? important. You know, like both in in different ways. They're both so well, important. And we're on the like precipice, right, of really being. Yeah, you know, and, iconic and that's, that's, and magical. that's crazy. They they were both on the cusp of being yeah. like that next level. Like, bro, I remember because I was with Nipsey the day he did Racks in the Middle. I was there. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like I look at that foot, I look at that footage every day. That wasn't the last time I seen him there, but I seen I seen him in um All-Star Weekend in passing. But me, there was something too. special about that night, because it was like, I said something like, um, man, bro, like, all right, I guess it's um, cause cause I always used to play with him, like, bro, you got the most well rolled out album in the history of rap. Like, the, everybody was ready for it. And I was like, yo, uh, he was, he was at a Chalice with Hip Boy. I was like, yeah. Guess it's that time again, bro. Like, you about to have a super crazy role. Like, he's like, shoot. He's like, I'm just trying to put out something real quick right now, like around Grammy time and all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And who would have known? Like, we sitting there, me, Young Chris, uh, I think Game was in Evan Who would have known? Like, that was our last little moment to really. And I, but I, but it's like, I could, I could feel the, the industry, you guys, the tastemakers, y'all could feel that man was on the verge yeah, of like, what? It was about to be crazy. Like, 
on an influential level. Yes. Like the Puma, everything, everything was just laid out so crazy for the next, like the next wave of Nipsey. And Mac, people were starting to respect Mac as a musician. Different right? level musician. Not even just a rapper, not yeah, the Nipsey. cool white boy. He started off cool white boy, then he started playing instruments and singing and doing all this other stuff and making Writing songs. It was songs, going songs, crazy. Songs. And it's just, man. That's crazy. Yo, this... look, Wale's here, man. He's got amazing music out. I think we should play some of it. Yep. Let's run this joint right here. Meek Mill, Rick Ross, Wale. What's the name of this? Routine. What? Routine. I think he said, po I think he said Poutine. It's I, Routine. I, I, know. I know. You're like, yo, we love Poutine. <laughs> <laughs> yo, it's Hot 9-7. Yo, we got Wale up here, Laura Styles, Wait, Rosenberg. Wait, before we pick this up. Are you guys, I got a message that they're trying to rap soon. Yeah, no, we're about to rap okay, right cool. now. Just yeah. Kicking y'all out? Yeah, you know, who I want to fuck up, you know. <laughs> just, ah! Sorry, I shouldn't have stopped you. I didn't know if you saw it. <laughs> Yo, Rosenberg, Laura Styles, the brother Wale. You still got time for us, man? Um, no. All right, damn. Yeah, he's got to go. Damn, damn, it's that. Damn, it's like that. Wait, aren't yeah, you playing? Like You're here this weekend for Rolling Loud, no? Yes, I will be Rolling Loud. What in day? Saturday? Um, Saturday. Yes, Saturday. Yes. Boom. Please come and support me. I hate large crowds. <laughs> and he's gonna it's be putting hot for the holidays too. Yes. I will well, like. that's uh, going down December 18 over in Brooklyn. Yeah, I'm R and B. Do now. Yeah, <laughs> nah, you're the hip hop part of this whole show. Yeah, you got Khalid, her, her's gonna have special guests. Why my name so small? You need it to be bigger. Yeah, I want it. To, I want my own poster. Okay, I or, agree. And make you it, heard that? Make Wale it, gets his own make, poster. <laughs> make it neon. <laughs> neon Wale yes. poster for everyone. Uh, yes. Yo, man, it's good to see you. I love you, man. Congrats on everything. I love Thank seeing you. the WWE embrace you. I yeah. love everything yes. you have going Things on, man. Yes. Shouts to the dope. Nationals. You yes. happy about that? Yeah. Oh, we're doing good. They're, they're in the championship, man. They're in the, ALC, they're in the NLCS. Yeah, don't say championship unless it's the World Series. It's the National League Championship we Series. We take that. Take that, Bryce Harper. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Being great. It's like, no. <laughs> and, and, and wait, and you're a Redskins fan. No, 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 man. Whoa. National. Whoa. Shout out to the Nationals, bro. Whoa. 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 Wait, that's bad? First of all, why are we talking about football? You don't watch football, so. You're right, I don't. All right, I so just go and move, 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 move on. <laughs> move on. My Move bad. On. I didn't know. It was, I didn't know it was bad. Move on, you bro. Uh, he said he was going. To, I texted him yesterday. He said he's going to Dallas. I was like, oh, you, you, they welcoming you in as a Cowboys. <laughs> no. We leave it. No, I live in Maryland, man. We'll go Lamar Jackson, man. Yeah. <laughs> We're Ravens yeah. now. Yo, he's wearing all purple. Yeah. Yo, Ra What's Ravens. Up, Ravens colors. Ravens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we. Yo, go we, get yo. that new Wale album, man. Get yo. my album, please, and keep me employed. Yeah.